Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rich from Youngblood Review, and this week I'm doing something I haven't done in actually a very, very long time, and I'm actually doing a book review, because I've been meaning to do one for weeks now on the YouTube, and just haven't really gotten down to it, but I am, re but the book I'll be reviewing is Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins, and I'm going to read you the back cover, just so I can tell you what it's about. What if there were teens whose lives literally depended on being bad influences? This is the reality for some sons and daughters of fallen angels. Tender-hearted southern girl Anna Witt was born with the sixth sense to see and feel the emotions of other people. She's aware of the struggle within herself, an inexplicable, an inexplicable pull towards danger. But Anna, the ultimate good girl, has always had the advantage of her angel side to the balance the darkness within. It isn't until she turns 16 and meets the alluring Kaiden Rowe that she discovers her terrifying heritage. Her willpower is put to the test. He's the boy your daddy warned you about, if only someone had warned Anna. Forced to face her destiny, will Anna embrace the ha her halo or her horns? So, uh, I will say that this book was amazing, and I did read it in almost a day. It took me two days to actually finish this book. But basically, like I said, this is about a girl named Anna, who is half angel, uh, half demon. Her father was a demon, and her mother was an angel. And her father, you later learn, turns out to be the demon of substance abuse. Uh, every demon has a different job, and uh, you learn what Kaiden's is. Uh, I won't tell you what his is, because it's kind of a big mystery what his is, but it's not too much of a mystery. Uh... But before she realized that she was a daughter of a demon and an angel, she re uh, had powers that allowed her to see everybody's emotions. And not like typical, like, it's not stamped across their foreheads or anything, but it's like an aura that she sees around them. Like, pink can mean happy or something like that. I can't honestly remember. I think red means lust, that they're lusting after somebody. And uh, I can't, I think black means anger. Kind of like a mood ring if you ever seen one of those but yeah so she ends up meeting Kaiden who actually is baffling her because he always has a red tint to his aura then she later learns that he is actually the son of a demon who is the demon of something that I won't say but she ends up having to go find her uh, a nun at e at a convent and t and talk to her about what she is and what's really weird is she can actually remember everything up to her birth she remembers everything she even remembers coming out of the womb which is pretty weird i mean that's just awkward but anyway and she has to go and find out why her dad or why she liked this who her mother was who her father was and it was just amazing, and I loved it. It's just something that I could see me reading a hundred times over and over and over. There will be a sequel called Sweet Hope, I think, and they did uh, battle whether there would be a sequel or, or not because they needed to see how Sweet Evil was going to do, I think. And uh, it did really well for me. There are some people that did not like the book, mostly because that... Uh, they thought it was kind of ironic that she was the super good girl and that she freaked out when she lied. I mean, if you've been a good girl all your life and you have done nothing wrong, lying's a pretty big thing. I mean, I lie all the time, but oh well. To each his own for a book. But this book was great. Uh, I award it five stars, most mostly because of the high romance that is in it and... I love the, uh, there is some action in it, so that is why I liked it. If you do not have this book, go and get it, because it is something that I, that I read fast, and I think any everybody else will read fast, and the tagline on here, it, it's a really good tagline, it says, Embrace the Forbidden, so it's, it's a good book, go and get it if you don't have it, and that is all for me this week, you guys. That is my book review, and I'll probably be doing more book reviews later on, and I think I'll do probably one next week over probably Everneath by Brody Ashton, because I've been meaning to do a book review over that one for a while, and I am excited to actually do one over that. 
So that's all for me today, guys. I'll see you guys probably next week.